Good morning. Good morning. Master used to say from time to time that devotion to God is more important than meditation technique, but that devotion and technique together is an unbeatable combination. <laughs> he emphasized devotion. He emphasized service, living the life, living the principles. He emphasized deep meditation. Every now and then with disciples whom he would encounter uh, during an inter interlude uh, of, uh, during conversation, he, he might ask, how, how are you doing your kriyas, meaning the pranayamas? And then we would have to show him how we were doing, and he might say, all right. Or he would say, no, you, you do this. I remember one evening he came in from a drive, and several of us were at the entrance of the building, and he was in a very happy mood, and he sent the, I think it was Faye and Virginia and Mernalini on up to the top floor, and he uh, asked uh, the, Bill Brown, one of the boys, if we had any food in the men's kitchen. So he went into the kitchen with us on the, ground, on the lower basement floor. And they found him some cornflakes and some milk. <laughs> some milk in the refrigerator. And he sat at the table and was having his cereal. And, he's, he's, and he uh, asked some of the boys how they were doing their Kriyas, Pranayamas. He just simply said, how are you doing Kriyas? And he would watch as they did it. And then I remember he said, oh, to one, to one, he said, oh, no, no, like this. And he went way down deep and he pulled very strong. <sighs> like that. And then we got the idea immediately how to do Kriya Pranayama, at least for us in our situation. But I remember on that occasion he spotted a bottle of Tabasco sauce on the shelf and he asked for that and he had put some on a spoon and he, he sipped that. And uh, we were interested in observing that. <laughs> and, then, and, then he, and then he put a little bit in the spoon and he said, line up, boys. <laughs> so, we, so we had to combine each, take a little sip. And it was interesting. He didn't overdo it. It was enough just to give us a challenge, you know. <laughs> The master always told me, and uh, when I was in Phoenix, um, I would visit from Phoenix, and he told Herbert too. He used to say, he used, um, he used uh, American colloquial expressions from time to time. He used to say about working with the devotees at the Phoenix Center, he used to say, dye them in the world of Kriya Yoga <laughs> when you meditate with them. He said, nothing will take the place of that. And then, of course, he reiterated his oft quoted statement that. Church is the hive and God is the honey. And a center for activity, church activity, without the honey of God is of little value. As far as he was concerned, he admitted the social usefulness of mainline churches. He, he, he acknowledged that. But his emphasis was realization and realization. And he didn't say to me, at least, or anyone that I heard him talk with, that uh, if we were steady on the path, we would be realized in some future incarnation. There is always that possibility. If you don't awaken completely, you can continue your growth in the astral and causal realms and uh, be, uh, take on a new body, identify with a new body. I hesitate to be, to be born into a body because I don't believe we are born, as Krishna counseled Arjuna, we are not born, nor do we die. We only identify with the body, but but he always emphasized uh, waking, waking up now, waking up now. I heard him say during a gathering at Mount Washington on a special occasion in the presence of several hundred who were, who were there, mostly resident disciples of Mount Washington and Snedis, he said, there are some here who will be siddhas and there are many who will be jivan muktas. And he was talking about the, this present life cycle, this present time phase, not in the future. Many siddhas, many fulfilled, self-realized, liberated souls, and some self-realized souls still yet to work out a residue of karma, but self-realized. Shankara, philosopher, seer, 
of India, 8th century, in one of his writings wrote, Brahman is real, all else is unreal. Supreme Consciousness is permanent self-existent being, changeless reality. Phenomena is transitory, it appears, it dissolves, it comes and goes. And then, Atman is Brahman and nothing else. The self is pure consciousness and nothing else. And this is the emphasis to, that Master made to us. That's how I received it anyway. We are now the self. We are now a ray of supreme consciousness, only to be realized. Not to be attained, but to awaken to. We are already it. Many, in many traditions and teaching systems, there is this emphasis that it is difficult to attain self-realization, and difficult to become self-realized. We don't become in that we, that we attain or acquire. We simply awaken to the realization of that which is already so. And that can happen instantaneously. It may occur in, in progressive episodes of awakening, or it may occur in an instant. We never know when it's, when it's going to happen. It can happen any moment. And then we see everything clearly as it is. And this is self-realization. We are already the self, you know that. In your heart, many of you perhaps know it from, from, from uh, realization experiences, I hope so. But with, with me, Master always emphasized the importance of God first awakening in this incarnation. And this has always been my, my focus, to do the best I can to help myself to wellness and spiritual growth, which is Kriya Yoga. Kriya Yoga is more than just pranayama and jyoti mudra and the, the supplemental techniques which are so useful. Kriya Yoga is more than that. Kriya Yoga is everything we do when we choose a lifestyle which is totally supportive of wellness and spiritual growth. And then we experience episodes of awakening in cosmic consciousness and God consciousness and transcendental states. And we see, as Master used to say so often, the world uh, is, is like a dream. It is our perception of it until we awaken is illusory. But then we do awaken, and then for the duration of our involvement with the phenomenal world, we live our lives as servants of God, live selflessly, only doing God's will as that will is revealed to us. And this is my understanding. I'm very happy to share with you. Very much appreciate being with you this weekend. And thank you, and thank you, Swami, for the opportunity. God bless. I'll see you after the service. Peace. <laughs>